In a rapidly changing business world, DevOps is widely recognized as the best way to innovate faster. MicroFocused Enterprise DevOps Framework opens the door for you to unleash scalable, enterprise-grade DevOps with eight interlinked capabilities that will accelerate value delivery from demand all the way to customer value. The MicroFocus Enterprise DevOps Model Office is a rich and detailed end-to-end -end DevOps ecosystem populated by our software and third-party open source tooling, all integrated to deliver a comprehensive set of use cases across these eight modules. The model office is modular, and each of these modules can be provisioned independently both on-premise and on Amazon Web Services. In this video, we will focus on how, with one-click provisioning, you can run entire DevOps capabilities in the cloud. In this example, we will be deploying a continuous planning platform comprised of MicroFocus Project and Portfolio Management and ALM Octane. In future videos, we will focus more on the actual features of each module. We will start by showing how you can publish DevOps services in your catalog, how users can order these services, how managers approve them, and how the offering is then automatically provisioned into an AWS cloud and used. Lastly, we will touch on the reporting and governance capabilities of the model office in the cloud. We begin with Mark, the portfolio manager. He logs into the marketplace portal and navigates to the offering management function. The team has been working on a new service offering for continuous planning and is ready to publish it. Mark selects the relevant service and edits it to remove the coming soon placeholder. Mark checks that the team has attached the required documentation and everything looks good, so we can go ahead and publish the offerings into the DevOps category. The service is now available to users. Ashish, the end user, would like to order the continuous planning service. He logs into the Marketplace portal and navigates to the newly published offering. To make sure it is the right service, he checks the description the blueprint screenshot, and the supporting documentation showing the specification, including the detailed process flow. Ashish proceeds to fill out the required information. A key feature of the model office in the cloud is the ability to deploy to the best geographic location to minimize network latency. He can even schedule provisioning to be at some future time. Ashish submits his request. You may want to implement, as a control measure, an approval process. Willie, the manager, is notified via email that Ashish has requested the service. He logs into the Marketplace portal and navigates to the Pending Approvals queue. He drills into the request, examines the details, including the reason and duration, and goes ahead and approves it. He is then informed that approving the request will automatically provision the platform meaning that Ashish will be able to use the system very soon. Ashish receives an automatic email notifying him that his request has been approved. Under normal circumstances, he would be waiting for the notification that the service is live. But here, Ashish logs into the Marketplace portal and sees that his request is indeed in the process of being fulfilled. The model office reduces the complexity of deploying entire DevOps capabilities with multiple integrated tools into a one-click deployment. To appreciate this, let's take a closer look. In the Management Console, we can see the subscription details and its pending state while it is being deployed. Looking deeper, we can see the complexity involved. You need to orchestrate the deployment and configuration of a private network subnets, routes, hosts, container cluster, containers, and the required applications. All the moving parts need to work in concert, and you need to gracefully handle any errors. We can also see in the AWS console that the tasks are completing successfully. All the components, Windows servers, container master, container nodes, and application hosts are up 
and indeed Ashish is now notified by email that his service is active and ready for use. The email contains the access information, and Ashish now connects directly to the instance using the username and password provided. Once connected, Ashish can access all of the components of the continuous planning platform. First, he checks out project and portfolio management and examines the program details for the AOS application that he is responsible for. He drills down to see the project details, then the project work plan, all the way to the sprint and tasks. Ashish then accesses ALM Octane to see the backlog, epics, features, and the details of a user story that is linked to the project he is managing. Depending on the service, you may need to cancel services to prevent incurring unnecessary costs. Ashish does just that, and indeed we can see in the Amazon console that all the components are gradually being deprovisioned. Once the shutdown is complete, Ashish is notified that his service is now cancelled. As a portfolio or business manager, you need to know what services are being consumed. The usage report Mark is using enables him to see the consumption of all continuous planning services within a specific time period and allows him to continuously optimize his portfolio. Running the model office in the cloud provides many tangible benefits. It allows you to optimize costs with consumption-based services, improve the user experience with geo-aware deployment so services are closer to users, accelerate time to innovation with one-click provisioning and significant time savings, track and optimize usage through consumption reports, and foster collaboration between dev and ops by allowing them to focus on value delivery rather than provisioning and administration. The MicroFocus Enterprise DevOps Model Office is a fully functional reference implementation environment with pre-built integrations across our software portfolio and third-party open source tools, showcasing key, common, real-life use cases based on IT for IT and safe industry standards. It is available on-premise and in the cloud. We invite you to take the Professional Services DevOps Model Office for a test drive.